Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the railgun both early and for free in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this is the last remaining new weapon that Rockstar has introduced in the Los Santos Drug Wars update. And it really isn't a new weapon. This is a, a gun that's been in the game for years now. It's just never properly been in Grand Theft Auto Online. But now Rockstar has officially added it. But they've added it with some twists. The first is it's only going to be available from the gun van, which is currently not in the game. That's another part of the drip feed. It's going to be this like traveling merchant that Rockstar can put different guns and different throwables in. And the railgun is going to be a part of that for $750,000. Number one, that stinks that we have to wait for it. That's kind of unfortunate. Number two, that's a lot of money. Well, getting it for free and getting it early is a whole lot better. Now, Rockstar did make some changes to the railgun. It's not exactly the same as the one that you get in single player and that's something we'll talk about as the video goes on so now on to getting it early and now getting it for free so the only thing you're gonna have to do is go down in the description of this video and you're gonna have to find a job that has been created so you need to find the job for the system you're on PC Xbox PS4 PS5 and basically what you want to do is make sure you're logged into social club and then you want to bookmark that job. Then once you've done that, and obviously make sure that your social club account is connected to your corresponding PlayStation, Xbox, or PC account, you wanna sign into the game. Now when you sign into the game, you're going to go to online, then jobs, play jobs, bookmarks, and then go to deathmatch. Now, many people have been reporting this problem that their bookmark job is not showing up. So if this is the case for you, there's one of two things you need to do. You need to click on L3 or the left stick because that'll rotate between the various death matches that you might have, whether it be team-based or vehicle-based, or you want to go to the next page, biting left or right on the D-pad. And then you just need to find the job. This is throwing me for a loop for a couple of minutes before I could actually find the job. And then you obviously just want to load it up. Now, the way you go about doing this is incredibly simple. Essentially, all you have to do is get a friend or a random person to launch the job with. I would recommend that you get a friend. I'll explain why in a second. Then essentially, as the job starts, if you don't have the railgun in your inventory, you need to die. The easiest way to do that would be either have your friend kill you or you just pull the pin on the grenade and you drop it. And then respawn until it actually appears in your inventory and then quit via the phone. So the first time I was playing with a random person and I'll be honest with you, I got extremely lucky. Literally the first time I dropped a grenade on me, I was able to get the rail gun. And because we were the only ones in here, I kind of felt bad for doing this. But honestly, I had done this a couple of times where the other random person I had played with got in the rail gun and then they left. So sorry, bud, I decided to do the exact same thing. No hard feelings. But you can see there, that is exactly what I did. I just basically quit. And then when I spawned back in, I had a shiny new railgun waiting for me. Now, what you might notice is I spawned in with no ammo. And at first, you might be like, uh-oh, that's kind of a problem. You have the railgun, but you have no ammo because as things currently stand, because it's not officially released yet and it's not in the game, and the gun van is not out, if you go to like the ammunition store or you go to the armory, you're going to find that not only can it not be customized, but you also can't get any ammo for it. So I will say that is probably the one downside of this entire thing is it is unavailable from any of the gun stores right now because remember, it's only supposed to be available via the gun van. However, there is one saving grace here, and that is the fact that Rockstar allow us to buy ammo from the inventory, so all you have to do is go to ammo, and then you can find it in the heavy weapons category. I just needed all my ammo, so I ended up buying it. And you can see there that you can hold 20 rail gun rounds. And right off the bat, this thing is obviously very cool, very powerful, but Rockstar did a very good job of balancing it. Number one, normally it's only available from the gun van, and it's kind of expensive, but everyone has a lot of money at this point, so that's not really a barrier to entry. But what is a barrier to it being overpowered 
is three things. Number one, it only has 20 rounds. That's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Number two, it has an incredibly slow fire rate. You get one shot, then you have to reload. So unless you're just shooting at NPCs or cops like me, if you miss your shot, you're pretty much a goner. Number three, there's also no auto aim, which makes things a little bit more difficult, especially if you're on the console and you're certainly used to having that auto aim. You're going to have to free fire this shot in order for it to connect and in order for it to do damage. And then last but not least, number four, it is also has reduced damage as well. So it's not necessarily going to one shot, one kill every single thing and every single person, especially other players. But the good news about this, it is so much fun and it is so cool. You can just kind of see the fun that I'm having right now. The gun itself looks incredibly impressive in first person just because it has like the glowing green on there and has a really cool like look down the sights and when you fire the gun it becomes red and it has this like electrical charge that comes from it. So it obviously is very cool in online, that's for sure, and you definitely have a lot of fun with it and honestly, that's what I think Rockstar is imagining people use this for. I don't really feel like it's going to be a griefing tool in any way, shape, or form because they've really made sure that it is not overpowered. And again, a couple more things that make this really nice. Number one, when you run out of ammo, all you do is just simply buy more, and then your ammo supply will be replenished. And then if you actually want to switch sessions, the best part about it is you can switch sessions and it will still be there. Now, the one thing you need to do before you do that is you need to change your clothes in free mode. What this will actually do is it will force your character to be saved, or at least Rockstar will actually save your character, and then it will stick with you. Now, if for whatever reason, when you go into a new session, the game does not save it, all you need to do is basically just play the job again. So if for whatever reason it does get removed, which apparently there are certain activities that can and will remove the weapon from your inventory, for the most part, it seems to be related to jobs that have reset or have custom weapon inventories, such as the Casino Heist. That will actually remove the railgun from your inventory. But again, if that does happen, just load up the game again. So honestly, what I would do is I would use the comment section of this video kind of as a little forum. Put when you're available, put what system you're on, put how many people you have, because it really is easier if you have it with a friend. That way you can go back and forth instead of getting paired up with randoms that might not necessarily really care if you get the rail gun and will just leave as soon as they get them. So definitely in those comment sections down below, uh, use this as like a forum to get involved and you know get things going so that you can get the rail gun early and for free. It's so easy. And I would jump on this sooner rather than later. We don't know when Rockstar will probably want to get rid of this because they obviously want people to use their gun van and buy the rail gun as compared to getting it for free. But this is incredibly easy. Hopefully, you found it easy as well. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys, though, in those comments down below. Have you gotten the rail gun early and for free? Let me know what your experience has been like in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.